Clancy Brothers in action, and incidentally, they'll be at the Kennedy Center down in Washington on March 23rd. They were just in Burlington, Vermont last night, rented a plane early this morning, flew down to be with us, and to be in New York on St. Patrick's Day. And now, Clancy Brothers. <laughs> well, we don't have time for your song. But, but... <laughs> now, here they are. What are they going to sing for us? We're going to talk a little bit. Yes, of course. Yes. Now, the Clancy Brothers, and you are? I'm Bobby. Bobby. And I'm Patty. Patty. That's Liam. 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 And there's and Robbie O'Connell. A nephew, right? Yep. Nephew. Is okay. he a cousin or is he a nephew? He's a nephew. <laughs> He's, actually, yeah. He's a nephew. A nephew. Our sister's Our son. He's cousin Nipper. to your children. That, that's, that's right. right. First yeah. cousin. Right. Uh, how big was the Clancy family? There were 11 children, forever. 11 children in our family. Wow. Were they all musically inclined? They were all a bit, yeah. yeah. They are. And even your children are as well, yeah, right? Yeah. They're all going to the music business one way or the other? Hundreds of them are all into music. <laughs> your family get-togethers must be un <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, we had a bit of a party at Christmas. There were over, uh, oh, just the family. Yeah. And there were about 56 people. There. No kidding. Yeah. That's true. And where is the family now? It's still in, in Ireland? In South Tipperary in Ireland, yeah. Uh-huh. Cork and Shore. But you travel a great deal. You're oh, on the yeah. road. Yeah. We're and over here about six times a year. And they're on the sea, too. They've got well, an Irish right. festival cruise that we you take quite a bit. We do a festival of Irish music and the Caribbean. Uh-huh. And January. We're doing it again this coming January. Very good. That's terrific. Well, how, do the, how do the people who are so into reggae down there and so into the Jamaican kind of uh, beats, how do they respond to Irish music? They came down on the pier in St. Thomas and we had, a, we had an intercultural bash. Oh, that must the have been The steel fun. drummers played Irish music and we oh. sang Calypso. Oh, oh that I, was I, 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 was just, I was just in St. Thomas last week. I can see that pier right in there. You all are. That's a terrific. We're guy. doing it again in January. We have a company called Irish Festival Cruises. There's a 1-800 number in the 1-800 listing, so <laughs> you're all welcome to like come. A great, great oh, stages. those Clancy brothers. And if you can't get booked on that, there's always carnival. <laughs> now, what, what are you guys going to do the rest of the day? We're going down to uh, New Jersey. Where? Glassboro in New Jersey. Glassboro tonight, and then we're... We're in Westbury Music Fair. Uh-huh. Is there a chance? The island. They're everywhere. How come you don't have a cute little hat like your brothers? Well, I'm not quite as bald as they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you say? Shall we hear some Irish? What are you yes. going to do for it? Incidentally, did you know that these guys were good friends with Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan. The legendary... Uh, they were his star? heroes, and he based a lot of his early music on the Clancy Brothers. Right. So you, we you also knew? shared a girlfriend one time. Oh. <laughs> that poor woman. That's a different about story. That. <laughs> Whoever that woman is, I pray for her. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Dylan and the Clancy Brothers. <laughs> All just right. one of them. Shall we hear a little bit of Irish Rover? Let's go. Come on. The whole thing we want. In the year of our Lord, 1806, we set sail from the Pole Care Park. We were sailing away with the cargo bricks for the Grand City Hall in New York. We did an elegant craft, she was a rig fore and aft. And how the trade winds drove her. She had 23 masts, and she stood several blasts. And they called her the Irish Rover. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee. There was Hogan from County Tyrone. There was Johnny McGurk, who was scared stiff of work. And a chap from Westmead, Damon alone. We had Slugger O'Toole, who was drunk as a rule, and Pied and Bezazzi from Dover, and your man Mick McCann from the banks of the band was the skipper on the Irish Rover. We had sailed seven years when the measles broke out, and our ship lost her way in a fog. Big fog and the wind. Hold it, hold it, hold it, cut, cut. You had one line, great fog, and you blew it. <laughs> Your one chance to be immortalized. Try it again, great fog. We had sailed seven years when the phases broke out and our ship lost her way in a fog. Great fog! And the whale of the crew was reduced unto two. Twas myself and the captain's old dog. Big dog! Well, the ships are up, are up. Oh, Lord, what a shock. And nearly tumbled over. Turned nine times around. Cut. And the poor old dog was drowned. 
I'm, I'm the last of the Irish Rovers. All right, we'll be right back with James Galway, a little Irish jam session coming up with the Clancy Brothers and nephew Robert. Accommodations for guests of live provided by the Michelangelo Hotel, intimate, fashionable, very Italian. The hotel in the heart of Manhattan's business, cultural, and theater district. And Friday on live, comedian Paula Poundstone. 